Hey guys, I had another question relating to diabetes. Is the diet different for a type 1 diabetes versus type 2? Okay, that's the question. Well, first of all, in a type 1, you have a situation where the pancreas is not producing insulin. That's what diabetes type 1 is, okay? Type 2 is a little different. The pancreas is making insulin, but it's not connecting in the cell. There's resistance in the receptor. Okay, that's called insulin resistance, okay? So in this situation, it's not making insulin. This one, it's making it, but it's not connecting. So the feedback loops come back down here, and you actually, it causes your body to make too much insulin. So the goal with type two is to get the receptor to receive insulin, so the feedback loops are not going to cause the pancreas to produce an excessive amount of insulin, because in type two, your body produces five to seven times the amount of insulin that it needs. So in this situation, we have way too much insulin. So the diet I'm recommending for type one is the exact same thing for type two. So with type one, you might not be able to correct the situation because the pancreas is already destroyed, but you can at least correct the diet to lessen the amount of insulin this person really needs, okay? Thereby extending their life. With type two, there's a greater chance that you can correct this and get this receptor working. So also the need for insulin goes way, way down. So I put a link down below of what I'm gonna recommend. It's a combination of ketosis and intermittent fasting. So one of the things you need to put your attention on as you apply this information is if the need for insulin goes down and you're still taking the same medication, you could end up with a hypoglycemic or low blood sugar situation. So you just have to get with your doctor and make those adjustments, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.